Sometimes you just wanna buy what you want lah. Just let them spend. We're sad too. We need retail therapy. Why are you sad? School? <laughs> Research has revealed conflicting data on Gen Z's spending habits. So today, we capo how much exactly Gen Z's are spending and their views on finances. I spend around like 200 per month. Cool food and I go with my friends. My credit card bill is like $700. What are you buying? Food and then clothes and grab and anyway. $200? Clothes. Photocards. What band you like? Take it. They're coming to Singapore, right? Yeah. So you buying their concert ticket? Yeah. <laughs> a VIP. Let's say a bag is a thousand dollars, but you but you like use it a hundred times, right? Then it's only like ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Isn't that like TikTok no math? Shopee sales. I have like a list of things that I want. Then I see like we have like three or six months if I still want that thing. Do some like research before buying. Don't like buy the fake <laughs> stuff and then like the quality is kind of suck. I think for like the things that we want, we should work for it. And for the things that we need, I think our parents can provide for us. We can ask for them. I know of like all the classmates who don't receive allowance from their parents la. and they're around my age also so I was like quite shocked when I heard that uh, look up to them la. like how can you handle work and school and then some of them still must give their allowance to their siblings I feel like I'm quite privileged so now we have heard it from the Gen Z's themselves and it seems that they aren't that big senders after all except for one or two larger purchases and impulsive buys but aren't we all guilty of that as well though it might be that the real big spenders are not found here at Hajilin